Hey guys, it's Rottweiler back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be talking about Skyline, a tournament that was held six days ago from when I'm recording this. And that tournament had a lot of great sets, a lot of cool moments, and a lot of these cool people coming together for the first Rivals local like event since Corona. So let's take a look at Cake Assault versus ZB. Here we go, got my position, let's hit the road. Looking back, I know they probably doubt me, now the city on my back, I wear it proudly. I'm a hero in the making. I'm dreaming you can't wait my time I'm seizing the moment cause I gotta go for the time's gone Ain't scared of the dark cause I'm bringing the light with a nice long I shine on So this set's gonna have a lot of laughs, a lot of um, anger But a whole lot of great gameplay and I cannot wait to get into this So ZB starts off as every crack does with you know, a rock pull K tries to parry the down special but doesn't get it, it gets downbeat into this huge conversion and then ZBSDs, and here's Cakes laughing. <laughs> Cakes is like, we take those. <laughs> but ZB, he's been playing amazing this uh, this weekend, so that's not gonna let him uh, get too down. And there's Force of Recovery showing, get rid of the smoke cloud, doesn't get rid of it, then gets hit by his up special. And it's not real. Oh, wow, let me go back there. Actually, that recovery was really solid. So, I'll be. To the wall, wall jump, air dodge up, blow the clone up, and then just come back on stage to an aerial. But he gets double up air, I believe, and dies off the top. It does not feel good for Cake. And now ZB has even up, even though he SD'd at zero. Honestly, if I'm. Whoa, Cake, uh, let me slow this down. Uh, let me go back. If I'm Cake, I'm actually kind of like nervous because it's very, very close. And ZB literally just SD'd at zero. And it's this close. Two, I think he doesn't miss it. Obviously, he doesn't miss input here and runs off stage with a down air. Yikes! Uh, he's laughing it off. You know, it's not that not that big of a deal. It's the first game of the set. He's just warming up. Gets fared off stage, and here comes the. Oh my goodness! Honestly, that that uh, second bear should have been probably like an up air or maybe maybe actually no maybe back air is fine just for the uh, the edge guard. Honestly, speaking of edge guard, Forza has been off stage this entire game. Look at the distraught in Kate, Kate's face or the. The anguish. Go back again. Both parry. It's fair, you know. He tries to go for a mix up, but you know, uh, rocks into <laughs> rocks into fair is such a strong option. A rocks into up air. Honestly, rocks into like any aerial, which is so good. And speaking of aerials, Cake is going in. I wonder if he if he reset his jump here, like he. Oh, he double jumped immediately. You can see the ring. Ah, oh, that's kind of unfortunate. If he could get up here with just a single up air, he could do up air, up air, back air, but has to just do a single up air in the back air. And there's the patented ZB right here. You're going to see this a lot during this set. Here's the sick K combo. Honestly, so sick. Right here, right? He gets to the platform. ZB will wave land or wave dash back to the corner of a platform and do a down special here. And this is honestly, it's so funny, but this is actually so impressive. And it down specials here. Look, Cake is trying to parry um, the third hit of the spike, or the third spike of the down B. But ZB, if he stands at that exact position, the third spike will not actually leave the platform. And so if he wanted here, if he read this parry that Cake is doing right now, he could actually drop down and punish him for that parry. But here, I think he doesn't do that. He actually just, you know, moves around and ledge cancels the back air. Don't know if that was intentional or not, but that's that's the result. Um, but yeah, that's a really crazy mix-up that ZB is like the best in the world at doing by far. And look at this. Oh, God, that sucks. Okay, you're back off stage, no resources, and you got to up B at that, and that's going to spike. Oh, it doesn't get the spike. Uh, I think Cake may have thought that was going to spike him and just was prepared for the tech, but that never actually came up. Look at ZB's face. <laughs> but I'm going to keep it real. If, if I'm Cake, I'm actually quite worried that... Uh, I lost that game. And you know Cake does, I, you can just look at Cake's face. You know he does not want to lose his EB. All right, he takes him to Tropical Pond. Okay. Um, honestly, Forest Burn just loves any stage that has a whole bunch of platforms. What is this down B? Why would you? ZB is so crazy. He starts the game off with a raw down B. He gets the hit even, but obviously at 0%, that's not even going to kill. There's that patented down B again. Oh my god, I love these nares. Those nares there were so good. Nair one, nair one. It's, it's, it's this is the mind game. I'm, I'm thinking this is why the um the down B is so good. So when Crack does this down B, you want to hit him because it just looks so bad, right? 
Cake understands that it's not going to leave the platform. So he's like, I'm going to use this then to like get in. But Craig is like fine. He's not like in a, at a disadvantage. Like, he can actually move the same time you can move, if not sooner. So you jumping up here, or you like, he's in jump squat. He jumps into an air. Like, it's, that's, the, the down B, it just feels like you can't do anything about it. Because normally you just always parry Craig's, you know, third spike. You can't even do that here. So it, just, it gets in your head. You want to hit Craig when he does that. And then look, look at ZB. Oh my god. He knows he can't get anything off of the second Nair. This is so good. Nair 2. He realizes the angle the DI the kick is taking. He's, he knows he's going to like tech or not get anything true off of it. So he just goes to the platform to wait out his option. He messes up uh, some movement. But, you know, he would, that was smart of him like, to be safe there and just uh, not overextend. Oh my god. That rock is so stupid. Cake had a great landing there with his clone. Oh my god, Cake actually could have got so much off that weak uh, backer there. But is he able to convert? No. Says the clone down. Super good awareness. Yeah, and that's that down B again. You want to hit Craig. It just doesn't look like something he should be able to get away with. And he gets away with w double up air and takes a life. And here it goes CB2 again. Patting it down B. That clone was going for death. Oh no, Dare there? I wonder if Dare would just optimal here. You, you punish the pillar with back air right here. And then instead of a second bear, I wonder if it would have been better just a down air. And then down air would have spiked it. It would have been it. Or could he have teched the pillar? I wonder. I don't know. Okay. Oh, yeah. That rock. I don't know if you guys noticed this. This is really. You got to look really close for this. But if you look here, ZB, he's going to get this rock. And when he gets this rock, Cake is in the smoke on the right platform, obviously. And he's making a clone. Right? He's in there. He makes a clone. And this is what happens. The rock hits the clone. Bounces off the clone, <laughs> hits him, and now, <laughs> I mean, it could have been really bad. I could have gone really south for him really quickly. Great uh, rock pull cancel by ZB. Oh, my God. And this is something else. You got to watch out for ZB. He loves this cheese. When he actually has uh, a, a, the down B workout on the platform, he's going for platform um, combos, which is which is usually like just the down B into double up air off the top, which literally would kill Cake at 27 from here. But he misses the up air and gets punished a little bit. Nothing too crazy. It's a side B parry. I'm actually shocked Cake didn't realize he would go off stage there and try to punish it. But it's not really much you could do anyway since he was like off, off stage. But yeah. Okay. Goes back to his pillar. It's funny how when Craig is down there on his pillar, he's actually like fine. Like it feels like he's in, he should be a disadvantage, but he's actually just, he's fine. <laughs> oh, man. Goes for the down B. Cake does a really good um, plat drop aerial to get around it. And there's that down B on a plat again. It's just so crazy because you can't parry it. It's impossible to parry that down B like that. Look at that. You can't do anything about it. Cake has to respect it. He realizes there's nothing he gets off it. And this is the eye. Oh my god. He was getting heavily comboed right there. Nice parry on the shards. It's actually super hard that that um that quick in that uh that, situ that situation. Oh my god, so he missed the tech. K goes for a wall jump dare, doesn't even need to land it, and still gets the kill. ZB looks kind of pissed. <laughs> jab, jab. Oh, I love this. This is something ZB started to do a lot. Jab, jab, right? And I love that he does, instead of like F tilt here, which a lot of cracks would do, he'll do a turnaround up tilt, which could definitely screw up the eye. And, oh, he misses the kill confirm there, but yeah. Oh, Cake is pissed. I don't even know why he gets mad here. I don't know what exactly went wrong. I feel like he maybe missed input, or maybe he didn't think uh, ZB could act this soon. And he gets his Nair parried, and then he, you know, he dies. And he doesn't look like that's what he wanted at all. Unfortunate. You never want to see that. And again with the down B. He really, the fact that he just has to respect that is crazy. He can't get antsy. That one actually could have been parried, but... He wasn't ready for it. Oh my goodness. I love how Cake uses, utilizes his up air. Forrest's up air looks so good in Cake's hands. Oh god. Yep. Yeah, so obvious he's the top one. Perry? He jumped there. That's crazy. It was pretty obvious he couldn't make it that, to that top plat, so the only option really was to just parry that. Getting a great uh, combo here. Setting up the neutral again with this pillar on the on the plat. I mean, the spikes on the plat are just so good. Oh, I didn't tech that? Oh, I guess it didn't really matter. Okay, he has to get off this pillar, but it's not like he's in too much of a rush. Finds his way off. Oh my god, it has to suck if you're Cake. Look at this. Cake, oh my god. Cake goes for the cape uh, into F-Strong, and it just doesn't connect. That feels terrible. 
And now you got this really close game. Wait, what the? Oh, no, that's got to suck if you're ZB. Yeah, these back airs are just so ruthless. I mean, you got to keep you gotta keep uh, teching it and hopefully look for a reversal. Maybe a uh, wall tech into a nair would have been really, like, optimal. I don't know if you could have, like, you know, fought back with that, but yeah. Look, I can just imagine ZB saying something stupid here. You want to go to this stage? It's banned. <laughs> They both, they both have genuinely great smiles. All right. Yeah, so this is actually a strange pick. So ZB takes Cake to his, fa I think it's either his favorite or his best stage, which is his Frozen Fortress. And that's definitely not somewhere you want to take Cake Assault. All these platforms are perfectly lined up for Forest Burn combos and Forest Burns neutral. Just make it really easy. And there's the down air I was talking about, but uh, ZB has great DI on it, doesn't go off stage. Oh my goodness. Okay, Kate calls off the jump. It's the back air. Oh my goodness. He delays the clone pop here. Sends it down. Waits for the parry. Now he clone pops. And the downer does not hit. I swear that went right through him. Why did it not hit? That's crazy. How did that not hit Crag? Oh well. Um, but he's still, you know, still an advantage or just back to neutral at the very least. It's a quick forward air. Misses the DI on the second one, but doesn't get anything off of it. Wow. Oh, my God. He's just training. He's, like, just running a train through all that. Oh, my God. Let me go back. Wow. The single one hit of the spike had so much flinch. <laughs> that he, <laughs> our hit stun. And he actually get combo off of that. Granted, I think Cake did miss his tech. Oh, my God. That ledge boost fair was wild. ZB's insane. Oh my god, tilt boost for it? Till? You rarely see tilt boost. And to see it from Crag is even more rare. That was such a horrible panic roll there, but obviously Cake wasn't ready for it. This stare down sucks. Oh, look at, look at this. What the? Look at this. I swear to God, Crag has priority when it comes to who is in favor of breaking the rock. I swear. Craig, I don't know what it is. When he tries to hit the rock with certain moves and you hit it, I swear it feels like you hit it first, but Craig always gets the pebbles to go where he wants them to go, like this. <laughs> like, what the heck? I don't know why it feels like that. Oh, wow, ZB is pressed. Okay, good movement, but K calls off the movement with an up air. I swear, up air looks like Forest Burn's best move in Cake's hands. Look at this. This looks ridiculous. Mixing him his DI up. Really, well. look at look at Cake. Hold on. Look at Cake. <laughs> look at Cake's face. He's smiling, having a good old time. And the double back air. Oh my God. Uh, Cake's having a wonderful time, and ZB is definitely not. ZB's still focused. I mean, honestly, I don't know why you take Cake to this stage. This is a Horrible state to take Cake Assault. You never take him here. It's like his playground. Oh my god. Oh, up air? Yeah, that's just, that's just guaranteed. Yeah. On that DI at least. Good movement from Cake there. Gets a rock. That means his neutral is pretty broken. Oh my god, the awareness from uh, ZB. ZB's like, oh, you're holding in? Or you missed tech? Oh, that time you actually held out. This time, like, look, look at this. Uh, uh. And he realizes he's already on the ground. Or Cake is already on the ground, so by the time he throws this, he understands that Cake actually has time to parry this, so he's already moving out of the way. <laughs> that's crazy. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's disgusting. Bro, what is this? Oh my lord, he was going for some dirty setup over there in the corner. Oh, this, this is scary. Okay, the up air doesn't linger that long. Wow, he misses Waveland. It's fine. Wow, he actually jabs that rock? What a call out. That's actually a pretty hard call out, like hitting the rock before it gives to you. Yo, yo! That was sick! He read that! He read that! Look at this! So he sets him up with the crag cheese. Pillar and rock. That's so that's so good. He sees and reacts to Cake's up B. And he knows where Cake wants to be. And he's in the air here, so he doesn't want to risk trying to, like, parry this in time on that plat. So he moves out of the way instead. And then repositions with Nair 2 into up air. And it's a tie game. Because in Rivals, this percent stuff literally means absolutely nothing in, um, in the last stock scenario. Literally nothing. Oh my god, his back is to the rock. Oh my goodness. 
This is starting to get really bad for Cake. If Cake, if you lose this game as Cake, you're gonna feel awful because you were up at three stocks to one. Great back air. I, I believe he chose to back air that way solely because the rock was on the right. He didn't want an attack. The Bonaire misses the up air. Unfortunately, he didn't position that correctly. He could have got that still actually. And Cake's coming down for sure. And he actually he keeps buffering this up smash. I don't know if he actually wants this up smash. Oh, speaking of up smashes, yeah. Oh, the ZB is pissed. Yeah, look, he is pissed. You got the whole the fist. Honestly, if I'm ZB, I'm mad also, cause if you could have won that game as ZB, I mean that's that's actually insane. You know, you pick uh, that, that's like Cake's best stage. You beat him on there, three to one. Like if you make a comeback like that, that's 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 everything. And honestly, it was doable. So you know, that's gotta be frustrating knowing you could have had that game with a couple more you know good plays, good reads. And he tries out Edelus, because this is, again, set one of Grand. So, he's going to try out his Edelus. And this is actually pretty smart. You definitely don't want to use this Edelus um, in your last set, because, you know, you only got a certain amount of games left at that point. And this is crazy. And, again, this up air looks so broken in Cake's hand. He got that from an up air. Yeah, look at ZB's DI. He really desperately wanted to go to that rock, or get to the rock. And here they are again just laughing. It's like you couldn't even tell one was pissed last game because look at how they're like just playing around in this playtest. Oh, and now they're going to my favorite stage in the game. Forest Floor, Edelus versus Cake. Oh my goodness, ZB's got... Oh, I said Edelus versus Cake. <laughs> ZB versus Cake. ZB's Edelus versus Cake. Uh, ZB's actually off the gate doing pretty well. Uh, that fair was actually super bad, but he doesn't get too punished for it. Actually, it's still in his favor even after that. Great dash tech. Great um, dash tech here. He he like literally doesn't like wave dash out of it. He keeps it going, knowing that Cake's gonna tech out. And now once he gets the hit, he he jumps out of it. That's crazy. It's a good call out. Okay, going for uh, was that a, actually a, a um baby dash jab? Yeah, he did like the um the sliding jabs into a uh, tech chase. That was super smart by Cake. Oh, near one actually screws him over. He did not want to do near one there. He went probably near two. Back air. What the heck? DB. Uh, DB. ZB actually held super hard in on that back air. So hard in, I don't think Cake was actually ready to get the second one. Like, back air, wave dash back. Either he missed or he just wasn't ready for that, like, crazy DIM. And that also galaxied him. That galaxied him so high up at, like, 120. That's ridiculous. That was up air. Super strong. Yeah. Up smash, yeah, for sure. That's definitely gonna kill, and I'm I'm happy it worked because that move definitely has a tendency to like just not work sometimes. Oh, wow, I actually thought that was the real one. Wow, that was super smart. But he actually gets sweet. What? Jabs right, dash attack, and then he. Wow, okay, he went for. That was actually just weird. <clears throat> he tried to make the best out of that and go for down a uh, reverse down tilt, but he gets parried. So yeah, back air. Yeah, Zibi has such a tendency to hold it, but he's holding out now. Okay, ZB's recovering high. Icicles. Wow, and Kate gives him or gets him with the up air combust. Let me see this. Because it looks like. Oh, yeah, he tried to down me to land. Okay, I thought so. Yeah, not many uh, landing options for Edelus' uh, character. Only got like really down B and down air in the icicles. In there sometimes. Oh, hold on. Oh, this is the clip. Yeah. And then. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That was actually super sick. So what happened here? <laughs> okay, so let's see. So ZB just respawns. Cake plays around his invincibility and fares him into the corner here. You know, jab down till ZB's holding in pretty hard. He's trying to get away. He gets to the platform and he tries to dare uh, Cake's force, but he gets clipped or he gets uh, interrupted by Cake's up tilt, and this is where it all just goes horribly wrong for him. Up tilt, he misses tech, up air, down air, and then he techs <laughs> into another up air, down air, and then he techs into another up air, which goes into a backer this time. And from here, Cake makes a hard read on his recovery. And ZB, honestly, ZB here should have done an early. Up B, seeing what Cake is doing, because he has plenty of time to actually look at Cake. Because if you're a ZB, you're looking at Cake here. You're looking at him, you're looking at him. You definitely shouldn't go all the way up. You should, like, just cut it short and try to fare your way down instead of going all the way up just to be up B. 
Oh, <laughs> shit, the slow-mo hair flip. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Cake is a monster. And we find ourselves in set two of grands. Uh, ZB going crag again versus fours. Cake's fours. Oh, come on, ZB. What the, what the heck is this guy? ZB has this awful tendency to hold really, really hard in at low percents as um, crag. Because if he, right here, right? Jab, like if he's holding out on those nair, on, the, on that nair into jab down to, if he held out there, this back air wouldn't hit. And because that back air wouldn't hit, the second back air, I mean, if he, he just held so hard in this entire time and it results in obviously, like look, he tries to DI out now, but it's far too late. Back air, down air, and after this, after this point, he's like, I gotta hold away. At that point, it's too late and you're dead. <laughs> oh, and then cake SDs, I forgot about that, wow. Oh, wow, I see what happened. You see, if you look really closely, Kick air dodges up, and he tries to release smoke. If you look at the animation right here for Forest Burn, he's trying to release neutral B smoke, but you can actually cancel that at any point, and the smoke will stop coming out once you hit, like, another special, I believe. or If you hit up B, the smoke stops, and that's what he tried to do. So he tried to make one cloud of smoke, up B into it to regain his double jump and then double jump up B. He honestly didn't have to do any of that. He could have just from here up B to the, the, the wall, wall jump up B. He could have did that, but he chose to do this instead, which is fine. But he flubbed it, and so no smoke came out because he canceled it too early. And because he thought he was going to be in the smoke, he teleported in place, and then he fell to his death. That's actually what happened. <laughs> ZB with the top. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Oh wow, that hitting that rock was so good. Oh no. Okay, so honestly, this could be really bad for ZB. He makes a clone right there. ZB thinks that's the real one. Hits him. Kate could have got a backer off of that if you maybe a little faster, but uh, doesn't get it. But he's still able to convert into the the side of the stage. Oh man, that that was crazy. Oh my goodness, ZB with these ledge boosts. Oh my god, ever since they buffed Craig's ledge boost, this has been his, his his like combos have been disgusting. With obviously platforms. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess we found the real one. <laughs> Honestly, I promise you, ZB thought that was the real forest burn until he landed the pebbles and the other forest burn was still there. I promise you, ZB was going for an like a an up air after that nair. But he realizes and reacts that that's actually the real, like, forest burn, and then just double jump fair. <laughs> that's crazy. And up air. Oh, and that's a great 50-50 for, um, for fours. Honestly, if this, if this fair that ZB did, if that actually not only hit cake here, but also hit the smoke, this recovery wouldn't have been possible. Because he fares on a trade, but it doesn't hit the smoke, so the smoke stays. And now, uh, thankfully for Forsberg, he has a 50-50 now in his recovery of do I up B to the smoke, which is super obvious, or do I up B to the ground? And ZB goes for the read on the smoke, and now he's on the ground, and he's able to actually get back to neutral, which is super smart by Cake to use that smoke. Like there's just like the ability that he couldn't go, he can go to the smoke and like you know use it for his favor. Also, that weak up up smash killed him, which is crazy. And down strong, yeah, that's pretty hard to DI if you're already moving left or right. Oh my goodness, Crags down B. I swear, that flinch it does is crazy annoying. Like this, only, only one hit him. Only one hit him, and then he gets jabbed up, and now he's back off stage. Fair, yeah, this is going to be bread and butter right here. Oh, he actually misses, but, he, wow, he, oh my goodness, he was able to convert off that um first and up tilt. Oh my god, look at this combo game. This is what separates ZB's Crag from every other Crag in the world. His combo game. He literally has like a combo game of Crag that doesn't feel like he's like it's supposed to be like real. Like I like I thought Crag's weakness was that he couldn't combo. But in ZB hands, he's like making it look like he doesn't have a weakness. Hey, look at this. Nair one off the rock. Nair Nair one, Nair two. Keep it going. And now he reads the jump, hits him another Nair, four there. Like, dang. And then, oh my god, he almost gets that fair. This damage is building up, and he doesn't get that fair. That's crazy. And pillar, yeah, that's just... Oh, actually, this this like thing here is messing him up. That's super unfortunate. 
Um, yeah, he definitely did not want this platform to spawn here. I mean, it is on a set timer, I believe. This platform and Ethereal Gates are on set timer, so it is possible to actually play around the platforms coming out. That's not like this RNG when they come out. But it is unfortunate, because that's usually never a problem in Rivals, but it is unfortunate in this specific case, because it does cuck over ZB's edge guard here. And he gets stuck, and he can't pull the rock out, because it's just an awkward height. Yeah, that actually really messed him up. But, he doesn't take too much damage, but Cake does come back to the stage virtually for free because of that. Nair one, yeah. If he actually, I wonder if he charges, would he have gotten the sweet, the sweet spot on this up smash and kill? Yeah, if he charges here, a little bit longer, like just like maybe a frame, maybe would that have gotten the sweet spot, or was it just behind? I don't actually, I don't know. It looked like it actually just was was the reverse hit box and parry, and wait, what the ZB, please don't die off this. Does he die off this? I oh, know he doesn't. That was actually super scary. ZB, that's crazy. If you look here, ZB is super uncomfortable after that. Like, obviously, who wouldn't be uncomfortable? You accidentally whiff an up air and end up off stage at 30 against Kick Assault, who was known to gimp you, like, super early off stage on your pillar. Like, look, he comes down here all the time. It's super scary if you're, if you're ZB, right? So, what does ZB do when he gets back on stage? He's like, all right, comfort zone, go. I'm going to literally do the same strats. That's crazy how you just he just goes back to, like, his comfortable uh, down beyond plat. That's crazy. It's crazy. You can just see how players. Um, oh, that was so sick. But you can see how players' um, habits like come through, or like where they feel most comfortable after a very um, scary scenario has come up. Because ZB hasn't done that down B on the on the platform since like the last set. I want to say like two games ago. So that's crazy. And also, this combo was so sick. The movement was amazing. So ZB fights his way back up. He knows he can win this game. He's been winning this game like the entirety of its uh, of its time. And look at this nair. That's insane. He hard read Cake's jump. Look at this. He air dodges up. He knows Cake's gonna jump up. So he starts this nair early. And it catches Cake's jump. Because there's no way this would have hit any other way than if Cake, other than Cake jumping. So Cake tries to jump up and poke ZB. ZB nairs him through the plat, brings him up. And look at this movement. Oh my god. The movement is insane. Nair. Run off. Double jump. Hit fall one. Or hit fall Nair one. And then it's just up air at that point. And Cake is pissed. Oh, Cake does not want to lose like that. That just looked. Oh my god. I got to zoom in on that. <laughs> yeah, that, that is starting to. Uh, all the smiles and stuff are starting to fade away. <laughs> So now they go to Frozen Fortress again. I'm shocked that ZB did not ban this stage, since this is again Cake's best stage. I mean, maybe K uh, ZB just wants to prove that maybe to himself or Cake or everyone that he can beat Cake on his best stage. He know he can, but again, I'm not taking that risk. I mean, it's like the first major uh, since Corona. You want to make it? You want to? You want to you win? All right, let's see. So the Rock play is coming out. Uh, yeah, this is just the rock is just so unbelievably hard to deal with Yep, and then this yeah, this is crazy. Oh my god the the ledge boost movement Ah, uh, that's so oh my god uh, uh, ZB's combo game is fucking disgusting. <laughs> he pulls on the rock side B reading uh kicks uh, fall through plat drop Gets in there off of the side B obviously kick holds in up air hit fall Wave land, drop through plat, double jump. Oh my god. Nair one hit fall up air. Oh my god. Wave went on. Oh my god. It's so sick. Back air nair. This is what I'm talking about. This is that stuff that just like no crack moves and hits you like this. ZB makes it look so like obvious even. It's like, oh, why didn't you always do this? You could have always done this. <laughs> oh my god. And Cake's fighting back. He's building up the percent. Honestly, right here, it might have been better to go for a Nair 1. Forward air, down tilt. Uh, maybe it was too hard, but like a Nair 1 down strong or a Nair 1 up smash or back here maybe would have been better here than this down air. Well, then again, if, if ZB held then, that a, a second down air would have been like basically guaranteed. Yeah. And Keg just calls out his jump to plat here, I believe. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, once you, once you understand your opponent's like jump habits... Things like this that seem like a super hard read, I mean, it's just, you just know. Like, look at the cake, cake jumped up here, like, I think slightly before ZB did, just knowing. And then he just, you know, down strong. 
Yeah, so now ZB's thinking I gotta stop being as predictable with these jumps, otherwise I'm gonna keep getting called out, or just be a little more elusive or slightly more ambiguous. Okay, a cake and the smoke. It actually is kind of really difficult to tell how to DI when uh, Forrest is calling you in the smoke like that, just because you don't know what movie is coming next. Great uh, clone pop. Back air. Oh, I'm shocked he didn't, he didn't uh, react off of that a week back air. It's, actually, it's definitely pretty hard, though. This movement is great by both players. Oh, my God. This is just so appealing. This is just so fun to watch. That's why I love Rivals. Look at this. So, dash tag, up air, right? Down air, and now ZB is using this down air hit as a chance to get back into neutral since K cannot follow up, up follow up off of this, and Kate understands. He cannot follow up off of this with a true hit, so this is what happens. Kate follows him, obviously trying to press his advantage, and then ZB is actually finally able to land, which means he can now act. Well, he's still in flinch here, but now he can act. Kate respects his uh, his movement options, and this goes down to the plat. They both set up their, look at that, it's just so crazy. They both set up their, their stage control, almost at the I simultaneously it was almost simultaneous when one made a clone and one made or pulled out a rock and it just goes back to like it just, it just again it's just so fun to watch it's so fun to watch they both get rid of it okay oh that's his death yeah yeah getting paired at 140 mm -hmm. near oh my god that's crazy what a read by um by cake here so um, yeah, Z does down B, hits rock, and then he already knows ZB's gonna follow up after the rock is broken. So he short hop down air, or full hop down air is knowing ZB's gonna approach with an air, or just in, in general, which is crazy. What a, just a great adaptation. And honestly, this is actually really, um, perfect play off, uh, off stage by, um, a cake. So a cake does, gets him off stage, you know he's going down there as usual. Honestly, I think ZB can parry this, but he doesn't get it out in time or just chooses not to. He gets hit by Dare, text it perfectly. Cake responds to that tech, but the forward air. And then, honestly, it's it's insane that Cake actually read this tech or slash reacted to the second tech. Most people would not tech twice here. Honestly, it's crazy on both ends. One, people do not tech twice like that. Um, like on Craig's pillar, like that quickly in succession so great by zb to to like tech that like no to tech something else twice he just hold him toward the wall and just ready to tech that's crazy and two it's crazy for cake because he had the awareness to like be ready for that tech and then was going for like a punish on it already but zb is so invincible after that tech plus an air dodge that he's actually still fine so that was just crazy oh i love this this is just so sick and no one can tell me otherwise Jab one, jab two, turn around, up till is so sick. And I feel like the man actually have the best combo potential out of Craig's entire like options out of jab two. That's insane. He gets near one up air off of that. Could have got probably more, but yeah, he doesn't. Great uh down smash by Cake. Oh honestly, you know, um ZB almost looked at that at 170. Uh good DI, but you know, it's hard to DI that. It's the rock out. Rock is just so amazing at controlling the ground. Look at this. Like, look at that. Like, even even at top level, it's just gonna it's gonna be powerful regardless. Look at this. He, he gets rid of the clone with the rock, picks it back up. I mean, and he and K thinks he's gonna throw it. I mean, there's no way to tell when ZB's gonna throw it, and ZB is just gonna wait. And he sees the parry, even though he's in the smoke. He saw the startup of it and punishes that with the rock, since K cannot parry twice in a quick succession. And he tries to cast the rollout, and that would have led to a ridiculous edge guard. But yeah. Rock is ridiculous. Triple up air, four up airs, five up airs. Okay, he lands with the nair one. I'm shocked he went for up smash, even though uh, Cake was only at 70. Probably just muscle memory. Oh my goodness, great weight by Cake. Oh, this is insane. This is actually insane. Look at this. Down tilt, up air. Wait for your tech on the plat. Punish with back air, and then read your double jump, and then doesn't get the third one. That actually really sucks, but he did everything else perfectly. Oh, that was insane. Did he, did he do another... um? Jab boost or like he like he like slot he slid with his jabs again into a jab jab down to a back air not enough to kill but that was just really good play it's not looking good for ZB here at all I mean you know last stock 130 um, against someone who's only you know their second stock only it's not looking too good yeah you take 40 30 to 40 off stage like that cake is really good at timing that jab against this rock oh man cake tries to let it rip 
with uh, Combust there. This for the Hail Mary. And it doesn't work out. ZB back off stage. Wow, just wait lands back on and oh ZB's pissed. And let me tell you, let me and he says that is so stupid. He said that is so stupid. And you wanna know why? You wanna know why he says that? If you look really closely to what actually happens here, ZB is at 196%, right? So what happens here is that he wave lands on stage and they both trade with their jab one. And right after that, if you look really closely to ZB, Forrest Burns jab one puts him in the air, slightly off the ground. To where this now has to be teched otherwise which he doesn't tech uh he gets he goes into flinch and now this makes this down smash literally guaranteed <laughs> the only reason he was put in that position was because he was at 196 so that actually sucks if you're zb um but for cake you take those yeah and he's like what that's so stupid okay so now zb is pressed he's still smiling though like, look at them let's just it's funny how they go through emotions so quickly. Cake will like get up there one game and go, ah. ZB will get jabbed and then get down smashed for getting put in a flinch from a jab and go, ah. And then they go to the stage select and then just start having a good old time. It's so funny how their emotions just go back and forth like that. Great neutral by both players. This is just so good. This is actually amazing neutral. And then Cake's opting here. So Crag throws the rock. Somehow that does not hit Forrest. That would hit me every day of the week. But the rock uh, is now at Forrest Burns back. And Cake is like thinking, do I want to hit this? Or do I, you know, which will give him another rock pull? Or do I keep it here and just, you know, keep him from his own rock? He goes for the ladder. Yep. Yeah, so now ZB wants to get his rock, and Cake is not letting him get his rock, and is actually punishing him for moving in like that. Jesus, that was so... Oh, that was so optimal on this DI. Obviously, uh, he's holding super hard in, because ZB always loves to hold super hard in at low percents for some reason. Wow, that was actually super unfortunate for Kick. He actually timed that parry perfectly, but look. That forward tilt normally would send the rock forward, and, you know, that parry that Cake did right here would actually be, like, good. But for some reason, it, it actually got hit with the inner portion of Crag's F tilt, which means it goes behind him, and he misses the parry, which could have actually been like really bad, but doesn't actually amount to much. I say get rid of the smoke cloud. Oh my goodness, no way. Side B cancel? Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is so bad. Why didn't he just parry that? Maybe it was too hard or too hard to know where exactly he would be, maybe? I don't know. Good DI on that down tilt. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be hard to get out a little bit, yeah. Nair, Nair, up smash. Jesus, that connected that high up. ZB, oh my god. Cake gets one thing of smoke. <laughs> this is insane. Cake gets some smoke, tries to set up some more smoke in neutral, gets Nair tuned, gets his tech red by Nair 1 into turnaround F smash. And that wouldn't even like a running F smash, that would just a pivot F smash. I mean, up smash, I'm sorry. Oh my god, ZB just making the most out of Krag's Nair. It is clearly his best combo move. Like the character in general, I mean. It's just so good. And there's that turnaround up tilt into up air into back air. I love that he goes for that. No Krag really goes for turnaround up tilt after those jabs. Usually that's F tilt, you know. Which is fine, but you know, it's just so cool to something different. Tries to punish that parry, but actually gets made it. Good air dodge. Okay, he doesn't get the rock out. Ooh, it's scary! Okay, if he doesn't get back here, that would have been terrible. Nair, okay, throws the rock down. He doesn't want to get wobbled. Or just hit in general. You don't want to, you don't want to get hit with the rock in your hand. And Wow, tech chase up tilt? How'd that up tilt hit from here? This up tilt is amazing. Oh my lord. And then, yeah, Cake's not liking that at all. Jab, up tilt, yup. Nair, Nair, this is just good, decently good damage from just three hits, 31 damage. Okay, he comes back. Ah, oh, that's scary. Okay. But he's back to the wall, so he's actually okay. I think ZB's actually super fine with being like off stage like that. Oh man, if if uh, Kick had just held this slightly longer. Yeah, just maybe maybe slightly longer, he would probably would have traded. Wow, that's the chase down. Trade and he's gonna take that obviously up air. Yep. Or up to up air. Yes, then yeah, you can't land on crags up up till that's just it's so disjointed, that's not gonna happen. And the one in behind is the real one, yeah, clearly, yeah. Let's look at Cake's recovery real quick. So, he makes the clone. Clone goes back first. He wall jumps into a double jump here. 
and his back air gets beat by Fair because ZB had a hard call out on which one was the real one here. And now he doesn't really have anything. And ZB just SDs. Ugh. It's insane to me how if he didn't do this stupid uh, down there right here, like, look at this. What what does he have left? He already used the smoke to get his double jump back. He ha he just wall jumped. He doesn't have any other mix-up at this point but up B. So if ZB had just stayed on stage, stayed on stage, and waited for that up, this up B. If he waited for that up B, I'm going to just pause. Right here. If he had just stayed on stage instead of whatever the hell he just did that got him killed. If he had stayed here and then just parried this predictable up B because he had no resources left. Parries that. F smashes him. The game is like over. I don't understand why he chose that. And now... And here he goes holding super hard in yet again. And look at how it results. Yeah. And you're dead. Because you have no double jump. Can't get to the pillar and you're dead. Oh, uh, it went so badly so quickly. All because he chose to do some meme down there option. I don't know if the down there was a misinput. Maybe he went to down tilt at the ledge and got a runoff down there. Unfortunate if that's the case. But if he actually chose to down there, that was just so stupid. <laughs> ZB, that's bullshit! That, what the fuck? Oh, man, but ZB's actually doing a great job in neutral and conversions. He just needs to stop doing these stupid options. Like, he's actually really, like, doing very well at edge guarding, like, a lot of these uh, scenarios. They choose to go to Frozen. What is this? Frozen Gates? It's a fantastic stage. So much better than Ethereal Gates. And that rock actually hits floors before he actually appears with a hitbox because that's how his recovery works. Is that, oh, my goodness. This is actually ridiculous. So he, now he's an advantage because, well, the rock hit him. And it was actually, I don't think he was ready for that. So now he's an advantage. Bring smoke. Oh, my God. He moonwalked plat. Oh, my God. He moonwalked into this. <laughs> Look at this. So he, he moonwalks, plat drop, back air. ZB takes it, but he covers it with up air. Double up air, mind you. He runs to the left. ZB doesn't know where he is. He comes back down with a plat drop up air. Into down air, he reads the tech to the left, forward air into tries to get up air but doesn't get it. That that whole sequence was actually so fucking sick. Up air, ledge boost, fair. I thought that was gonna kill for a second. It's crazy how even this is. Nair one. Oh my goodness, that's actually great awareness by ZB here. Nair, he reads the roll. He gets a nair. He reads that kick is going to the plat. Re uh, tries to wait for the tech, but he goes. He, he, he nairs too early, so he doesn't get this nair, which would have been like disgusting. And he gets up at himself, and oh, okay, pretty good DI. Not much uh, okay could do off of that. Oh, uh, oh, this is, I know ZB's fucking mad. Look, look at ZB. Look at ZB. He gets hit down here. He makes his pillar, and you know ZB's holding left. You know he's holding left. You know he's ready to tech this. He's holding left. He's holding left. He gets back air, he galaxies, and for some reason he can't tech, or he misses the tech. Either he missed the tech, or he doesn't let him tech. And now he's angry. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Oh, that was actually pretty hype. Okay, he uses the clone to body block the projectile. Opens up with some jabs, goes for jab three, and then has he, oh, Zeebie's pissed. What did Zeebie just say? Oh, ZB said, what the fuck? He didn't get his run. He parried. He didn't get his run at all. He got like a... Yeah, he clearly wanted to run behind Cake and then get that F smash, but just didn't come out. And there's this Nair. And look at... Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Nair. Nair. Up, oh, my God. Look at the hit stun. He was in hit stun the entire time. Nair. Read his... He read the double jump. That's insane. He jumps out of his combo. Nair's on the way down. Wave lands on plat. Knows he's gonna double, he's gonna air dodge here. Nair, and then he has no time to come all the way down, and then jump up, and still kick his and hit, stun, and then he gets killed. I swear, Craig's up air is so much better than his forward air. It's so, it's so good, much better for killing. Okay, he texts, and he's getting cheese. He's like, I refuse to be cheese. <laughs> he's back, okay. You know, Zibi was so focused. He was going to get so tilted if he died again off stage to the pillar. He barely lives that up smash. Cake is really trying to, like, just end this this stock. Like, just being able to, like, mix up this up air 
Which, like, look at this. ZB's conditioning. Look at him. He's on. He's down here on this pillar. He's up airing. Like, get away from me. Get away from me, right? Up air. Get away from me. And once you give him space, because you don't want to get up air, he's, like, conditioning you to, like, give him some space with an up air. And once you give him space, he mixes up a wave land onto stage. And now he's back. And that's so good. And it's such a simple 50-50 recovery mix-up. I'm going to up air sometimes. And I may wave land on other times. And you just got to respect the up air. And this is what Cake was talking about when he said sometimes it feels like Craig is at an like, advantage when he's off stage. Or he's like setting the pace, basically. Because of that, that kind of stuff. Like, you have to wait for him even though he's off stage. It's kind of crazy. And this rock is actually screwing. Oh, that was so good. What is this? Okay, so... Look at this, he's back on stage, what does he do with it? He wave lands to the plat, he jumps off, approaches, and Cake thinks he's gonna land on him, so he goes for a down tilt to catch the landing. ZB instead air dodges toward Cake over the down tilt, and now he's in a frame advantage to punish the down tilt. When he goes for a crazy option here, usually you would think he'd go for an air, but he goes for weak back air, or just back air, I mean, into jabs. The second jab whiffs for some reason, and he goes for up tilt anyway, he still gets it. Cake takes off the pillar, it gets, and he tries to jump away, but the pillar, I mean, the, I said pillar, the rock won't let him get away. He actually doubles up here, can't really go anywhere. Nares into, oh my god, he tech that and still got hit. It's another in here, into up air, and then ZB has the awareness here. Up air. The awareness to read cakes the eye. Knows he can't get any, like, physical hit. Like, he can't forward air, he can't up air, he can't nair cake in this position. But he uses his rock as an extension, and you can't beat this projectile. Also, I forgot to mention, not only can Abs' projectile not be hit, but Ori Sign and Crag's pebbles can also not be hit. So, this Becker does nothing, and it actually gets him hit by a fair. And that was so... Like, he made the best out of such an awkward scenario. His jab 2 didn't hit right, Cake Tech twice off of his rock. Like, and he still, like, is getting good damage off of this, and actually putting Cake off stage. Now that is definitely not what he wanted there, but oh my god. Just just the conversions are insane. Back air on his landing, Nair one again being disgusting into up air. And he takes off of it. That was just oh my god. And then Zibi pops the fuck off as he should. That was insane. Oh and he says, yes! Oh my god, and Cake should have known better to be honest. Cake should have definitely knew better. Look at this. You see the rock. So this is actually insane that you know, he goes for his raw combust, and ZB has the awareness during his F smash to just tank the rock. And then <laughs> he has frame advantage, and, he, and it's crazy because he actually, I think he hit falls this nair even. That is insane. He hit falls that nair after tech, and then that execution, like obviously. He only does like three things there, but just how fast he was able to react and do all of them was nutty. And then he goes for the guarantee up smash. That is, well, not, maybe not, I don't know if that's guaranteed, but he goes for the kill confirm. That is insane. What a play. Crazy. And then Cake is pissed. And Nair, 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 up air. This Nair is so amazing at comboing. It's ridiculous. Uh oh, he's knocked off stage, and then he gets his jump red into a back air. ZB's okay with that, you know, it's that's like pretty normal. Okay. Rock gets jab, he's off stage. Oh my god, I think Kick missed input there? Either missed input or had a hard read on that on like a roll. I'm shot oh that sucks for Cake. Honestly, when you're in the smoke, sometimes it's hard to judge exactly where you are. Like when you're playing Forest Barn, you have a general idea of where you are at in the smoke. Usually, it's pretty usually spot on, but like, there's still sometimes you can actually yourself get lost in the smoke. Because when ZB wave lands on this plat and tries to, and you know, does down B, Kick has a lot of time to actually react to what uh, ZB is doing. And he knows he's going to down B. He's looking at him, right? And so he's like counting one, two, he goes for the parry, but doesn't realize he's actually still not in the range for the third spike to be parried. And so he gets F smashed. And now he's irritated. This Nair is so disgusting. Up air, down air. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, I guess he wants to play it safe. Yes, clone coming down. Okay, down so. Oh, he gets fair. That's terrible. He loses his entire edge guard off of that. Nice rock. This rock is so. Oh, this is so good by ZB. Oh my god. So many great plays. So, 
if you look at ZB here, this looks like a raw and random F up, up smash to end the to close the uh, the game out. If you look here, he fares. Uh, if you if you watch uh, Cake here, this is how you know ZB is watching his opponent. Because if you watch what Cake is doing here, this up smash actually makes a lot of sense. It doesn't seem as random as it first appears to be. So Cake, you know, he texts after the rock hits him. Uh, the rock has been thrown. Cake's probably uncomfortable. Tries to hit um, Crag to get the rock out of his hands. He gets hit anyway. So now, if you look at him, he double jumps away from the rock. ZB's watching this. He double jumps away from the rock. And now, all ZB has to read is the fact he's going to land because he doesn't have a double jump. And now he, he reads the landing and he up smashes. So what seemed like just a raw up smash was actually like him really like being aware of his opponent's options. He noticed he burned his double jump and he almost immediately went for an up smash. That's crazy. Next game, Cake is like super focused. Cake looks like a, like a, I don't know, like a monster. He's like, you, you can't win this. This is game five, by the way. I honestly, I lost track of the game count, but this is the final game. This is game five. Okay. Rock trying to assist Crag there, but I actually just uh, doesn't get much off of it. And there's again the patented down B. Honestly, this is this is a stage you actually supposed to ban against ZB, I believe. I think he even tells people to ban this stage versus him because of this down B shenanigans stuff. K gets even gets hit by the spike, and now it's just uh, it's good damage. Oh my god, that's so scary. You can see Cake reeling back in his chair even. Like, don't let that kill me. Oh, Crag's in there. One is disgusting. Oh, I'm shocked they did not kill, actually. I'm shocked they did not kill. Oh my god. F smash, and you know, he's so angry. He's like, that's such a stupid ZB option. Look at him. He's like, who the fuck reads a landing and punishes with a fucking F smash? And Cake, he's like, Cake is like, not had just about a fucking enough. My god. Oh, and, oh my god. I'm actually super shocked by this. So. Neutral's being had, you know, not really much to talk about. Uh, this pillar does make things very interesting, though, as you can see. So, <sighs> ZB comes down off the plat, parries Cake's um, dash attack. And Cake is actually, look at his face even. He's not worried at all. And why is he not worried? Because his pillar is to his left. So he knows, like, it's going to be hard for him like, to die because of his tech. But what, is, what does ZB try to do? And I, I, you know, I respect him to do this. Like, he tries to hold this down smash. Not only, you know, to like to get, you know, more knockback or whatever, but he's holding it because he's sliding into it. And he's trying to get behind Cake with this down smash so that it's forcing him either up or to the right, which means he can't take off the pillar, obviously. But somehow, even though Crag is clearly on Forrest Burns' left, he's still able to go to the uh, DI to the left, which means I think he got the, the angle that's sent straight up, which means he can DI to slide it to the left. So ZB actually should have like went a little bit further, and he probably would have got the side he wanted. But then look at that! Oh my God! Even when you when you tech off the pillar, oh ZB hard calls out not only the double jump, or maybe maybe he didn't maybe he just called out a stall, an air stall. Maybe he didn't know exactly what Cake was doing, but he knew he would air stall because Cake. Look at him! He actually does like a double jump and then tries to make smoke. Tech, double jump and he tries to make smoke. He gets called out. He dies and he like. Slams his hand down like out of like anger. Don't blame him. You really want to win this if you're like the number one player. You want to make like the, you know, the you want to be the first person to win uh, the offline, you know, revival of rivals. Finally, the, I think that's the very, very first down B that is parried the entire in, in the entire two sets, and he only gets look at this. Finally gets parried. This gets a downer off it, and that's it. That's all he got. Uh, ZB has been abusing this this down B like the entire game on plats. <laughs> And all he's able to get after all this time finding in the parry is a single down air. And there goes Craig again, having a ridiculously look at this. Craig is in advantage. This is what the cake is talking about. When he says Craig is in advantage. He's clearly not in advantage, but it just feels like it's nothing you can really do. Yeah. He gets his roller red, gets down strong, and that's that's all she wrote. Cake putting a lot of smoke up. This is actually so good. This is something that Forest Burns, like in general, don't do enough. Which is in between stocks or when you have the advantage, like you're putting off stage. You really shouldn't be putting smoke out because it makes your neutral better and it makes your recovery better. Honestly, sometimes when I watch Penguin versus Cake, it always seems like Cake has smoke literally everywhere on the stage. And if I'm Penguin, I'm like rolling my eyes and I'm like just overwhelmed because the amount of smoke you have to clear when Forrest Run is off stage, if it's like all around the screen, it just feels like 
his recovery actually is good if you let it get out of hand. And Cake is really good at letting the smoke get out of hand. Because look at this. This is actually ridiculous. Even when he's in advantage hitting him, he has smoke everywhere. And now ZB is try trying to clear it. Actually, ZB does not care about the smoke. He actually is going back to his game plan <laughs> of down being on, pillar, or on the platform regardless. <laughs> That's so funny. ZB does not care. The ZB always wins. And here he goes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is just, this sucks. This just really sucks. And especially for Forest Burn because it's not like a character who's really fast. Uh, without plats, this is why Frozen Fortress is like a go-to for Cake a lot of the time, because the plats just give Forest Burn almost like pressure throughout the stage. When the platform layout is like this, and they're so high up, it's very hard for Forest Burn to actually close that gap and get in on people. So all this like down B shenanigans that ZB's doing must be mentally draining for uh, Cake here, because that's a lot of running in and jumping in you have to do to like get to him and he's like throwing rock you know he has a real like a better projectile he has that down b which threatens like if you you don't want to jump into that you jump into that you get you're giving him a free stock if cakey jumps in that he gives him an up air into up air and that's just it so this is actually quite like hard to deal with as fours oh oh god and actually this is super like screwed up for uh cake here he actually gets Put on the pillar, which is, I mean, on the rock, which is the worst possible place to be uh, against Crag because here, look at look at where Crag is. He misses the tech, actually. Um, honestly, if he teched on that pill on that rock, he was dead. It was actually really smart for Cake to not tech on that rock so he could act as fast as possible. And I didn't even notice he actually tries to parry the hit, but instead, Crag hits the rock, which puts Forsberg in the air, so his parry is canceled. And so the pebbles hit him anyway, and honestly, that could have been an up air or a forward air, and I think Zibi went in an up air. Speaking of the devil, and Cake is so pissed. And it has to be frustrating, because if you look at this entire stock, it's been Cake just chasing down and trying to approach Zibi on the plat and across the stage the entire time. Meanwhile, Zibi is like nickel and diming him until he finally gets this up air, which galaxies him at the top at 97. And you can just look at Cake, and he's just pissed, and it's so exhausting. And he has to just work from behind a full stock now, basically. Because Crag is so heavy on top of all of that. It just sucks. Down there? Yeah. That, that is just optimal. ZB holds in here because he's scared. He doesn't know what um, Cake is going to do. But honestly, it's very obvious what Cake wants after this. F till every forest burn is going to go for a ledge boost dare on DIN after this. It's just so obvious. And that galaxy is at 114. That's just air armada for you. And now ZB back again back to his game plan. Going back to the plat, but he actually messes up and chooses to approach. This is so this is so scary. Honestly, if I'm cake, <clears throat> if I'm cake, um, then again, there's no there's no wall. Honestly, I was gonna say, because if you look here, cake does not go off stage here. And at first, you think to yourself, cake, why don't you go off there and like you know. You know, pressure him. You know, you've been so good off stage versus him. You know, in the previous games, but on Air Armada, that's probably not the best option. Just because, again, if ZB like cheeses him with that like pillar gimp stuff, um, there's no wall for him to wall jump off of down there, so he's gonna just fall to his death. So he opts to just stay on stage and ledge trap uh, Crag. But honestly, that's never really gone too well throughout this set or both of these sets, honestly, because uh, ZB just wave lands back on stage and he's back to neutral. Look at that. Honestly, if you if you really like break this down, ZB has gotten so much damage and just done so much work to um, Cake's force when he's off stage. But when Crag is off stage, there's very little uh, force is done to him outside of like the the gimp or uh, like, like the two times he went off stage. Yo, hey, it's me from the future. That's right. Uh, I actually want to correct what I say here. Um, I say all this mumbo jumbo, but actually what I'm really trying to say is that in the times that ZB has actually made it to the stage and has his pillar like established, there is very little that Cake can actually do to him. But in the times that Cake actually can go off stage uh, and punish ZB's rock pull or pillar pull, uh, it actually works out. He gets some good damage and sometimes even a stock. But every time this set has gone about uh, when that pillar is up and he's up airing, there's nothing Cake can really do to him. I guess what I'm saying is once Craig is already in position to start the up airs from the pillar, it's actually just a free recovery in like in these, in these sets. So it's really unfortunate. Oh, this is so fucking scary. Oh man, this is so scary. Somehow it is actually last stock, by the way. Um, but look at that. 
Oh, what a read, by the way. What a what a hard read by ZB. So he's, he's, he's controlling the ground game with like you know crag jabs and dash attacks, and ZB is already jumping up here. He jumps above the rock and he side B's, and he he just knows Cake is gonna jump up here, and that's crazy. He read that and converts to a nair, hit falls it nair to a nair one again, tries to get a fair, but you know great DI by Cake. Oh, this is this is that messed up part, isn't it? Yeah, this is this. Yeah, if you look here, this is this is the end of the game. I'm, I'm first. I'm gonna let it play out. So if you look here, Nair's right. This Nair is doing so much work on Cake, and Cake is like trying to keep his composure, and he actually dies. He almost does the controller, I swear. But if you look here, this last like 10 seconds of this final game, look at look at what ZB's doing. Starting at this point, right? Cake is recovering, right? He actually does not contest that for some reason, but he falls down with the Nair. And he up airs. Oh, he misses the up air, but he up airs. He nares again, he nares again, he nares again, and he up airs, right? It's the second time ZB up aired him off of these nares, right? So Cake is like conditioned, he is conditioned to hold out on the up airs. And ZB is so smart, he has been like aware that Cake is like, he already, like, like the fact that ZB is already setting this up for this forward air here, that's why this forward air is so insane, and this is why. Uh, Cake holds out because he's been getting up air twice like, like over and over so now he's like I gotta hold out because here comes the up air It was a forward air and so you had bad to eye and he died at a hundred and for ZB to have the awareness and, Like to know to like do that conditioning is crazy, you know, and he takes grand finals And he pops off. Let's go ZB and you got to feel bad for Cake. I mean, it's just it was hard fought He did a lot of good things but I mean, it, it just it just wasn't uh, the day, and that was, in my opinion, one of the cleanest grand finals or just sets in rivals that I have ever seen. So much tension. I love the laughs. I love the, I don't know. I just love everything about that. To be honest, it was really fun to watch, and I hope you guys had you know a fun time listening to me analyze it. You know, so uh, I guess that's all I got. So it's been Rivaler. Peace out. <laughs> I'm spacing these syllables, I like I've been man and glaring I'm hunting, I'm down alone, I don't do the sharing Bars got me sweating, I think I can see my spirit Palm in the back, singing, spicing up the lyrics Draco on my hip, I'm ready for the fireworks Emma, this Olympian, try not to go berserk Your girl want me bad, but that's not my fault If her ass go up, then it's a cake of salt